So after watching hundreds, and yes, I mean hundreds of videos about dating in Thailand, I feel like there's a bit of a narrative that's not exactly true. Let's talk about it. Yeah, sorry for a bit of a hiatus. It's been almost a week since I uploaded a video. I have had a gnarly head cold for like four or five days. Feeling a little bit better today. You might notice the difference in my voice, but we'll be back. I got some meds. I think I'm good to go finally. But today we're talking about something that if you're watching these videos, it probably has at least a piece of your interest, especially if you're a man coming to Thailand. And that has to do with dating Thai girls. Now there are quite a few things you can do that might make this really hard for you. Luckily, I've been here for a minute and I've dabbled myself quite a bit. So I got you taken care of. No more hiatuses, no more breaks. We are back full tilt and we are about to make YouTube our big. Uh, of course, we are back here on Drop Tian Beach. I'm making my daily coffee run. I also got to run down to a hotel right up the way here because somebody very special is going to be here in a couple weeks and I got to go make sure she's all set up and ready to go. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. She's going to be here for two weeks. We've got tons of stuff planned. If you guys have been watching the videos for a while, you may recognize her, but it's going to be super fun. Lots of different content, maybe not so much informative stuff, but we're going to go around. We're going to check some stuff out, do some islands, go to Bangkok. We're going to run all over the place. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Now, of course, there is a bit of a rhetoric that, oh, well, all Thai girls love Western guys. Every Thai girl wants to find a Western guy. They want to be with a white dude. They want babies. They want to marry a Western guy. Of course, this isn't true. Hopefully, you figured that out at this point. And yes, there is somewhat of incentive for some Thai girls to go after Western guys. Your money goes a little bit farther. Maybe they wanna to go to your country. Maybe they wanna travel a little bit more, go with you, tag along. But of course, this isn't true for every single Thai girl. Of course, some Thai girls wanna be with Thai guys, which is totally understandable. But even for the girls that want to be with white guys, there's certain things you can do that is gonna make this very difficult for you. I've done a few of them myself. I'm actually in the process of doing one myself right now, which I'm gonna fix for sure. Starting today, I'm over it. But make sure that you don't do a few of these things just to make your life a little bit easier if you are interested in, you know, hanging out with some Thai girls. Now, the first mistake you can definitely make, which I have since I got in here, and I was kind of surprised, honestly, because from what I saw, it was gonna be the complete opposite. But that's just not taking care of yourself. So generally, Thai food is a lot lighter than American food. So you think, oh, well, I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna lose all this weight, and it's gonna be super easy to like stay in shape, and it's not gonna be that big a deal. I've always been a skinny guy and I definitely put on some weight in America, but I got here and I just packed it on. I think a lot of this has to do more with beer than it really has to do with the food, but a good way to limit your chances with a lot of Thai girls is to not be in shape, to not take care of yourself, to not be healthy. Now you're probably saying, but, but Tempest, I see like videos of fat white guys with beautiful Thai girls all the time. If you're subscribed to this channel, that means you're really smart and I'm sure you can figure out why those girls are with certain guys most of the time. Not all the time, but most of the time. So there's a caveat to it. Of course, you can be overweight, but you gotta make up for it in other areas. If that's not something that you wanna do, stay in shape. Don't turn into the big pudgy fat dude that has to go around and pay extra for everything, if you know what I mean. Side note real quick, doesn't really have anything to do with this video, but it definitely might help you if you're planning on coming to Thailand soon. So I've been here for about a year and I've definitely noticed a big difference in the currency exchanges. They're getting a lot more strict when it comes to bills. So if you're planning on bringing cash from your country, don't bring anything that has writing on it, any tears or anything like that. They pretty much need to be pristine bills for you to get the best rate. They used to just be they wouldn't accept them, but now they're like, 
oh well the exchange rate's 35 but since this one's torn we'll give you 20. so it seems like it's just getting a little bit weird so do your best to just bring really crispy brand new bills if you can go to your bank trade them in they'll always pretty much always be willing to trade them in for you so just bring new bills so another big thing that you definitely need to be careful for this might not necessarily hinder your chances but it definitely can if you're not careful i feel like it's something that not a lot of people talk about once you get here people are talking about it but not really online and that is women in general i'm sure you know but thai girls especially can be pretty possessive so if you feel like you're having lots of opportunities here and everything just kind of keeps falling in place make sure you're careful about that especially in Pattaya all these girls talk there's whole group chats and Facebook groups dedicated to finding out who is hanging out with who so just be honest with everybody what you're expecting and then even then sometimes it can end up being a bit of a nightmare I have dealt with this personally I have friends who have dealt with this personally doors have gotten kicked in fights have been started so the best thing you can do is just anytime you meet somebody just be honest with what your expectations are and that will put you in the best position to not get yourself in any trouble but nothing's for sure all right so we made it to the hotel i don't know if it's the heat or what i felt fine when i left my house but i'm kind of dying now i can't really breathe it is hot as and yes guys i know i get so many comments when i say how hot it is well you're wearing black okay if you've ever been to Thailand, you know you're gonna sweat no matter what you wear. If you wear a white shirt, you're just gonna sweat through it and you're just gonna be a sweaty mess and then everybody can see it. You wear a black shirt, you still sweat through it but it just looks normal. Pro tip. All right, we are good. I kinda just wanna kick it in there for a little bit and suck up the air con, but I definitely need a coffee. So we're gonna head back that way. We're gonna finish the final point of the best way to make sure you dating a Thai girl, hanging out with Thai girls, just the best way to make it almost impossible for you or at least a real pain in the booty i'm getting old <laughs> so pretty much the number one way that i see a lot of guys Chasing off Thai girls, Thai girls that even might already have an interest in them is just, you guys are too aggressive, man. Now, obviously, especially here in Pattaya, yes, there are girls who are working. There are girls who get paid to keep people company. Not all of them, obviously. Every single girl here was doing that for work. Obviously, that's not a thing. So you can't approach every single girl. If, if you're into paying money for things and you approach every single girl that, you're gonna end up scaring off a lot of women because obviously they don't all do that and when you just assume of course they get a little upset now granting they're going to be more understanding than if you like did it to an american girl but nine times out of ten even if they're already interested in you and then you start asking stupid questions it's really not going to work out or if you forget that some girls here are still very shy especially when it comes to meeting foreigners some girls can't speak english so they get embarrassed so they're shy and then if you're super aggressive it's just going to kind of make them backpedal so just be patient treat every girl with the benefit of the doubt you don't know until you know and obviously just treat them like they're normal people because at the end of the day no matter what they do for work they're still normal people they're just girls and as always i am no expert by any means this is just my insight so if something does happen even if you take all this advice that's my bad it's still possible i'm just trying to give you the best possible chance once again sorry for the hiatus guys it is not happening now we're grabbing youtube by the throat we're shoving his face in the dirt and we're kicking him in the back of the head so we will be back me and you we're gonna kill it as always thank you guys for tuning in we'll catch you in the next one